find out what's on our minds and what we're focusing on here at the State House. Uh, today I'm introducing legislation that will create greater oversight for the Office of the Inspector General, uh, as well as increasing the accountability for that office. The reason I'm introducing this, uh, this uh, legislation is because there have been some activities of concern uh, that pretty much call attention to the need for a greater distance from political partisanship by the state's top watchdog. As you know, the Inspector General is charged with the responsibility of investigating wrongdoing in state government and protecting taxpayers from fraud, waste, abuse within the executive branch. Participation by the IG in any political activity on either side of the aisle is simply unacceptable. Yet, as you are all aware, this is exactly what has occurred uh, when o Ohio Inspector General Randy Meyer headlined a Republican Party fundraiser last year. At a time when the people of Ohio feel that Columbus and government in general are out of touch and unacceptable, the role of an independent Ohio Inspector General is critically important. These are serious questions about Inspector General Randy Meyer's ability to objectively investigate wrongdoing in state government, and they, they've been raised by his lack of judgment. For instance, a report by the Columbus Dispatch uh, found that Mr. Meyer had conducted only 12 investigative reports in his first two years in office. And they said this was the smallest number of reports in, by any Inspector General for, since 2007. About a year ago, Mr. Meyer announced that he would not be issuing a report, a report on Coingate, perhaps the biggest corruption scandal in recent memory. It was only after pressure from a, a government watchdog group called Common Cause that he did acknowledge that, oh yes, the law does require me to issue a report, but we're still waiting, it's a year later. So this, let me tell you a little bit about this legislation. It, it provides the necessary distance from political activities to ensure that the Inspector General can effectively and objectively investigate potential wrongdoing by state officials. We, as citizens, expect scrupulous attention to this separation, and we have not seen that by this Inspector General. So the bill takes away the appointing authority from the governor and provides it instead to the four legislative leaders. By definition, there are two Democrats and two Republicans. So uh, a majority vote is needed, and no, it's, no person can be appointed to that office unless they have at least one vote from the minority party. The, uh, by using a, a bipartisan appointing authority, we ensure that the Inspector General is a watchdog and not a partisan lapdog. The bill will also adopt the same restrictions on political activity for all employees of the Inspector General's office, including the IG himself or herself, that are followed by other legislative and administrative employees in the state of Ohio. It, it seems silly that we have to do this, but apparently we have to do this. Uh, the third thing that this bill would do is it, it lengthens the, the, uh, the length of term, the term to six years so that uh, whatever governor is on office at the time uh, that the appointment is made, uh, the minority party should expect that you know, there could be a different, different governor in the governor's mansion at the second part of the term. Uh, the idea for that is to make sure that everybody wants to invest in long-term accountability, a long-term uh, scrupulous watchdog. Uh, similar bills have been introduced in the General Assembly in the past. And, but it's really clear that we need to enact this bill right now because of the because the inspector general must maintain the appearance of nonpartisanship and be a watchdog and not a laptop. Uh, I think uh, my colleague uh, Representative Redfern would like to add some comments. 